Hello and welcome back to Media Beat. I'm Chris Ahrens, Editorial Director here at Media Bistro, and we're talking with Ed Schultz, host of The Ed Show on MSNBC. We want to talk a little bit in this segment about how you got to where you are today. Uh, born in Norfolk, Virginia, uh, but then got a football scholarship to Moorhead, Minnesota. So you've been up there since, what, you're 18 years old or so? Uh, 1975. I went to Moorhead, Minnesota, and I've been working in the Fargo-Moorhead market uh, ever since 1979. You uh, had a flirtation with the Canadian Football League. After I, college. I, uh, I had a, a good college uh, career. I led the nation in passing in Division Two at Moorhead State in Minnesota. Uh, signed as a free agent with the Raiders. Spent a summer with them. Uh, had a uh, tryout with uh, the uh, Winnipeg Blue Bombers and mm -hmm. spent spent a half a season with them. And then uh, after being released, had a tryout with the uh, New York Jets. So after 0 for 3 of yeah. sticking to a roster <laughs> but learning a lot uh, and enjoying the process, I decided, well, I'm, this is, I'm going to wash out here and I'm going to go do something else. Yeah. And uh, I had always been interested in the media. How did that uh, turn into broadcasting? How did you, did well, you walk I went, into a station and it, say, this it, is what it, I want to do? Well, in college, I had an opportunity to do a little sports show in the morning uh, at one of the local radio stations in Moorhead, Minnesota, KQWB. Uh, 1550 on the AM dial. Right. That was my first shot. And uh, it, was, uh, it was exciting. It was fun. I took to it. I enjoyed it. And I began to learn the different facets of the business, uh, you know, sales, programming, and just, uh, I was at a point where I, there wasn't any job I would say no to. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and I went with it with a very, uh, an attitude with a lot of gusto. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ended up working in Houston, Texas at the uh, ABC owned and operated radio station there for a, a year and a half. Then I came back to Fargo and got into television and was in TV until 1996. And then when the telecommunications bill came down, I went exclusively radio and got regionally syndicated, then got nationally syndicated in 2004. And then in 2009, this opportunity presented itself. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it was, uh, it's, it, I, I've been very fortunate. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've done sports. I've done a lot of play-by-play, -play, which is my love. I've done political talk shows, sports talk shows. I've done, you know, all kinds of news coverage. In fact, the only thing I haven't done is the weather. And uh, I, I don't want to do that. Well, I'm, not, I'm not a got, weather guy. You got the weather <laughs> channel. You could probably step right yeah, in there and no, they'll give you your own show. Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't done that. But yeah. uh, I've had a lot of fun. And uh, I've been very fortunate in my career. Very fortunate. It sounds like, and you're probably going to hit me for saying this, but your career trajectory kind of sounds like that of Glenn Beck. I mean, he came from radio. He built sort of a, an empire there. He was a, a you know, music disc jockey, mm -hmm. but turned it into... He, he, formed his opinions and turned it into radio and television and now these these other kinds of uh, concert type sure, shows. Sure. Well, I, I'll go back to someone who I used to uh, admire and admired his work was Howard Cosell. Mm -hmm. I thought he was very brave, <clears throat> but he said something once that I captured. If you want to be good in television, do a lot of radio. Okay. And I've always believed that radio is a is a great arena for developing skills. It's a it's it's you know you have to be creative. You have to be on your feet. You have to be well researched. You can't you know wing everything. Mm -hmm. And it develops your conversation skills. And also, uh, working in a news talk station, it gives you a, a great development of instincts as to where a story, what it means, where is it going to go, how the public's going to react to it, what's important, all of those things. And yeah. so radio has done me right. You have your own pilot's license. I do. Do you My, fly yourself back on the weekends? Or uh, how does that work? No. Uh, I, I've got a, a, a turbo jet uh, that someone else flies, and I've got a Cessna 206 that I, that I fly, and I've been flying for... 23 years. My dad was an aeronautical engineer, mm -hmm. and so there's always been small planes uh, uh, in my background and in our family, and uh, so I, I've had an interest in aviation since I was a little guy. Okay. So it's, I grew up with it. There you go, kids. Radio. <laughs> That's where the money is. You well, buy your own Cessna. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the standard, the, the, the cost of living in the Midwest is a heck of a lot cheaper than it True. is on the East Coast, I can tell you that. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's been, I've been very fortunate. I've worked hard. I've always had a philosophy that I want to be the best employee in the building. And I've tried hard to, to do what management has wanted uh, me to do. Uh, and I've made my share of mistakes. I've had an opportunity to manage stations. 
And so I've seen it from both sides. And I think uh, the, the more you can get a total understanding of the business when it comes to the bottom line, when it comes to programming, when it comes to sales, when it comes to uh, promotion, if you can understand the total picture, I think you have a better chance of being successful. Great. Great advice from Ed Schultz for anybody looking to get into broadcasting. This has been Media Beat. Uh, this has been Ed Schultz from MSNBC's The Ed Show. And happy birthday. you got a birthday coming up. Let's not count all of them. <laughs> I do. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it, Ed. See you next time.